There were highly literate Greek-speaking Christians who lived toward the end of the first century. They wrote anonymously. We don't know who wrote them. The descriptions that are now attached to these names are much later. They're from 100 years after they were written. Uh, thank you so much for taking my call. Uh, my name is Deanne Sanchez. I'm from Utah, and do you have to join Judaism to be saved? And was the story of Christ made up, or did Jesus really die for our sins? I'm so thankful for all the rabbi is sharing. Um, it's been life-changing. Um, I'm learning so, so much. So thank you so much. Have a blessed day. If you stand before the God of Israel right now, and confess your sins, renounce your sins, and say, I love you, and I want to be close to you. I'm your daughter. I regret the errors of my past, and to you alone will I pray. You are my only king. You are my only Lord. You are my only savior. And I renounce all idolatry. I renounce Christianity. So you should know at that moment, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will save you, will forgive you for all, all your sins. If you do that out of love, every sin you ever committed will be turned into a mitzvah, a good act. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is merciful and no one could die for your sins. See Ezekiel chapter 18 the entire chapter, verse 21, 22, and 23. And all the sins, I love the language of Yechezkel, all the sins that you committed will not be remembered against you. That's the language. And Hashem says, is it my desire at all to punish the wicked? Is it not rather that he turns from his sinful ways that he might live? That's pretty powerful, right? So it's very important to bear in mind that no one could die for your sins. No one. You live in Utah, which is a really conservative state, understandably. It's a, it's a red state, right? And as conservative as your state is, I'm sure you nor any of your neighbors would ever want an innocent person to sit in a prison that, um, for the bad behavior of somebody else, for the criminal behavior of someone else, right? So if you have that sense of mercy and sense of justice, don't you think God is at least as merciful as you, at least as just as you? Does it make any sense that God would want to punish an innocent person for the bad behavior of others? If you want to find that kind of worship, it's the Aztecs and the Mayans, those of who worship the pagan religions of the of the Levant and far beyond. Now, you you are when a person accepts the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, that that person has embraced Judaism. Judaism becomes your faith. Now, I know people are confused by this. So you would become a bat noach, meaning a noachite. But people go, what is that? Well, as it turns out, it's the oldest faith in the world. It's the faith to which Noah belonged and Abraham belonged. So it's the belief in one God and no other. There are many people who decide that they not only want to join the Jewish faith, so that's Judaism, that's what, if you would embrace the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and renounce all other religions, so immediately... HaKadosh Baruch will forgive you, and Judaism is your faith. There are many people who feel very compelled to join the Jewish nation. 
and this is a very unique opportunity because, you know, as I have mentioned to people, Judaism is essentially one of the only ethno-religious movements in the world. I sometimes get kickback from that. People say, but aren't the Samaritans ethno-religious? They, they, they look like it, but they're not. Aren't the Druze, are they ethno? They appear that way, but they're not really. I'm not going into the history. But the Jewish people, the nation of Israel, are descendants of a family of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the patriarchs and matriarchs. So some people say, I want to join the Jewish nation. You will, if you are to join the Jewish nation, you will feel that calling. And then no one will be able to stop you. There's no power on earth that could stop you from converting. We're using these words converting because these are conventional terms, but a ger really means a stranger because if you, in fact, go through a conversion and join the Jewish nation, which you don't need to do, if you, you called it for your salvation, that means that you always had a Jewish soul. And uh, Kodesh Baruch Hu loves you very, very much. You're created in his image. And... No one could die for your sins. Everybody from the first century died, and the stuff you read about Jesus in the Christian Bible is all mythology. Did the writers of the Gospels, were they Christians? Probably. They were highly literate Greek-speaking Christians who lived toward the end of the first century. They wrote anonymously. We don't know who wrote them. The descriptions that are now attached to these names are much later. They're from 100 years after they were written by the Bishop of Lyon, um, Irenaeus. He named them. So we don't know who wrote them, but they are very well written. But the stories that you find in the four Gospels and the Book of Acts are all mythology. Because who wants you just to turn to him. He loves you. You're creating his image. Thank you so much for your thoughtful question. If you enjoyed this program, please like and subscribe. Adon Olah, Asher Malach, B'terem Kol, Yetzir Nivra, Let Nasa, B'chef Tzokol, אזי מלך, אזי מלך, שמו נקרא, ואחרי כפלות הכל, לבדו ימלוך נורא, והוא היה, והוא עובד.